Hey guys, this is Locke. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I build uh, my limited nerds for fairly cheap Vizier cost. Uh, a lot of it is actually goes into like a pre-planning stuff. Um, so I wanted to talk about this, you know, like a month before Final Fantasy VII hits, because I, I think that a lot of people will be interested in those Final Fantasy VII units. So these are some of the things you can do and uh, some of the plans that you can have. Um, maybe you're thinking, you know, how much Visio would it really cost and things like that. So uh, just take this in mind. Um, you know, what I'm going to say, not everyone will be able to do exactly what I'm doing. Uh, people have different goals, for example, right? So, uh, you know, take what I'm saying, kind of figure out uh, what part of it you can do and then uh, you know set your goals based on your own plan right so first of all uh, I'm gonna compare the banner uh, the Final Fantasy 7 banner and any really limited banner that comes out to the summer banner that we have now just to make a comparison and to um, talk about the free shards that we get so Right now, if we are pulling a, a unit, assuming we have pulled the unit or we're given the unit for free, we can definitely most likely uh, get their challenge shards fairly cheap because uh, the, I mean, you just have to get that unit to level 75. And I don't think that's hard. Um, I mean, we, we are given a ton of these like rainbow spheres and uh, rainbow fragment of thoughts. Uh, and I mean, I even in the uh, banner that we pull, like when you pull a nine step banner, we are given like um, the awakening prisms and, and things like that. So I don't think getting this 120 shards should be difficult for anyone, assuming you have the unit. So uh, we're counting the shards that we can get guaranteed for free, first of all. So we get 120 shards here. And then uh, we also have the skill banner that runs for seven days, regardless of the length of the banner for uh, how long the banner lasts. The guild banner is usually only seven days. And for 25, uh, 25 million gil, we can get 10 banners, sorry, 10 shards a day for seven days. So this is 70 additional uh, shards that are pretty much guaranteed for you to get for uh, only a gill cost so you can if you if you need to you can farm up the gill especially if you're gonna planning on building you know all four of these um final fantasy 7 units when they come out you need to have quite a bit of gill to sustain your spending and maybe you also want to get their you know like vision cards or something so you have to the, the, the vision cards also have gill banners now so you want to uh also farm those as well so you need to uh start you know you need to have a stash of gill for that so maybe you need to spend some weekends farming gill uh, to prepare for that but anyway uh assuming you have the gill you can get up to 190 of these shards from the challenge board and the gill banners next i'm going to assume that uh the banner is a typical like limited banner runs for you know 28 days four weeks i think that's a reasonable assumption to make um i mean we just had one where the like the ur zazan banner was only two weeks uh, but I'm assuming, you know, typically it would be longer than that in like three, four weeks. The one we have now for the summer units is like five weeks. So I think four weeks is not an unreasonable assumption. So, uh, anyway, we're assuming it's, it's four weeks. If it's less than that, you know, uh, recalculate accordingly. But assuming it's four weeks, we can stick the unit that we want that once we pulled it into the barracks. And once you put them in the barracks, you can get two shards a day from for that unit so two shards a day uh times again 28 days that we're assuming comes up to 56 shards right so we have 120 plus 70 plus 56 so far that we are uh getting basically for free right um now next is actually some paid options that we're going to go into uh i personally do this because i mean i'm able to i can you know spend a dollar a day for this uh and maybe you're not able to so it really depends on you know what uh what your capability is um I, I think a dollar a day isn't bad for this uh basically first of all you want to spend at least a dollar a day for the week that you are getting shards from the uh purchase login bonus so this is what it looks like right now uh for either lilith or uh ketone i can get 75 shards by spending a dollar a day for seven days so seven dollars in total for 75 shards that we are given and I use that dollar that I get to uh, buy the shards that are here. This one. So uh, so I, I spend, say, like, you know, for a dollar, I can get 60 paid Vizier. And then I spend that 50, 60 paid Vizier here to get uh, five additional shards. 
Um, now this banner typically, is, sorry, this thing here that I can buy typically runs for the entire duration of the uh, banner. So if it's 28 days, I can get, uh, like for 50, 60 Vizio a day, I can get 140 shards. Um, how much does it cost to get, uh, you know, uh, 60 Vizior times 28 days. Uh, that's 1,680 Vizior. Um, usually in the special shop, there is a, a banner that comes out that's like, you know, for 9.99, you can get like 2,450 Vizior. So this is like 10 bucks. You can get this and uh, you have to spend, you know, a, an additional dollar a day for six more days. So f for like $16, you can get uh, in total um, 215 additional shards. To me, like that's worth it, but you know you have to kind of make the call yourself if, if you're gonna go for that or not. Um, but that's what I do, right? So, uh, and this is assuming I'm only going for one unit. If I'm going for two units, then I mean I have to like you have to spend an additional sixty vizier a day for the second unit. But uh, for one unit, this is um, this is how much it'll cost. Uh, and you can decide if it's worth it for you to do it or even if you have the means to do it or not. But assuming that you're able to do this, assuming you can get the five shards a day uh, for 60 Vizier and you spend the dollar a day uh, during that period to get the 75 shards, in total with the challenge board, the guild banners and the barracks, you have 461 shards that you collected. Um, now, it's very important to get to 600 shards during the duration of uh, the, the unit's banner. Because if you're able to do that, you can unlock the Mind Sphere exchange in the Soul Metal shop. Uh, now, just to give you an example, uh, we already had, uh, you know, Duane and UR Zazan, and I can no longer exchange their Mind Spheres. I can only do it, do it during the time of the banner. So within the period of the banner, I have to somehow find a way to get to 600 shards. I already told you how I get, how I plan to get to 461. For the difference, um, I believe that I can get quite a bit from the uh, soul, sh soul Stars, uh, because, f um, you know, so Cloud is somebody I'm very interested in. If I'm going to get Cloud, I'm assuming that I'll spend 40,000 uh, Vizior on his uh, banner, you know, to, to get the pity. So for 40,000 um, for 40, Vizior or less, depending on like some nine step banners or something that gives me more Vizior, sorry, more pity for less Vizior or something like that. Uh, assuming that I, I can, uh, anyway, let's assume that I, I spent 40,000 to get Cloud guaranteed. So I'm not going to look at the, uh, I'm not going to count the this thing like the the exchange because I'm assuming that I'm getting cloud from it, but I'll still be able to I'll probably still be able to get a, a significant number of these soul stars, right? If I have to go all the way to like spend forty thousand here, I'll probably get I'm assuming like a hundred shards that I can exchange with these soul stars. Um, so I already had four hundred sixty one soul stars. If I spend a hundred. Uh, if I if I have to, if I'm forced to spend forty thousand vizior uh, to pull cloud, you know, to get him from the pity, then I can probably get at least a hundred shards. I'm assuming from the uh, the soul star exchange. So that brings me up to something like five thousand. Sorry, not five thousand. Five hundred and sixty one shards. So I need like forty more shards for like two two thousand more vizior to get to six hundred shards. And I think that's pretty doable. I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, so that's the first milestone that I plan to get. And as you can see, like, that's not a ton of Vizier. I mean, I have to, sure, I have to save 40,000 to make sure I get it from the pity. But once I hit that pity, there isn't much more, like significantly more that I need to get to the, um, to get to uh, max L being this limited unit. Uh, so that's the first milestone that I need to get. And the second part of this is actually some preparation that I'm doing now. Uh, so that I have an easier time getting the unit uh, to to his, to unlock his EX potential. So I've already touched on this a little bit. Basically, you have this, once you get that unit to level 99, once you get 600 of their shards, you can unlock this Mind Sphere exchange. Um, and now, if you're a newer player, if you've only, be, if you're only been playing for like a month or two, maybe you don't have so many of these uh, so soul medals to unlock. And that's fair. So that's what I, I'm, I'm doing this video for, to, to kind of tell you what I'm doing, because I only have 664. That's not a lot, but uh, this is what I'm doing to farm more of them. 
So first of all, I'm going to give you some numbers just so you know like how much you need if you want to get all 400 of them. If you want to buy 400 mind spheres from this shop, you need 3,250 of these soul medals, which is a lot, right? And if you're a newer player, you probably don't have that. Uh, but this is an incremental cost. So for example, the first 50 of them cost, uh, you know, 250 to get 250 soul charged uh, soul medals to get the first 50 mind spheres. The next 50 costs 300. The next 50 costs 350. Uh, and then the next 50 after that costs 400. The next 50 after that costs 450. And finally, the last 150 of these costs 1,500 mind spheres to get. So um, as you can see, it's a lot more easier to get the first, say, like 200 of these than the last 200. So uh, if I'm going to only get the first 200, I am looking at... Um, 1,300 mind spheres, right? So 1,300 to get the first 200 mind spheres and uh, 3,250 to get all 400. So I think, you know, at least getting 200 of these is a good stopping point. Um, so how do I get to 200? Okay, so if you're only looking at this now and you don't have any mind spheres saved up, you probably won't be able to get 200, but you can at least get 600, uh, which is equal to, um, at, you can get at least a hundred of these mind spheres, and I'm going to show you how I do that. So, if you go to the guild barracks, um, what you can do is you can put five units here that are limited units, and uh, these five units have to all be level 99. Now. The advice that I'm giving, it might not be applicable to everybody. It all depends on your goals. You might not even have like five limited units, right? Maybe you don't have any limited units at all. Uh, so in that case, you can put like five normal units that you have at level 99. Um, but I think it makes more sense to put limited units simply because you can farm their shards in other ways. Uh, but if you don't have limited units, you can put other units. And if you take a look for me myself, I'm already using Cecil, who is level 89. I'm not even following my advice 100% because Cecil is pretty close and I really want to get him to level 99 so I can unlock his uh, TMR because I'm too lazy to farm bravery the other way. So, uh, you know, you have to kind of make the judgment call what exactly you want to follow. Do you want to actually put five of these in here or, or not? So why you want to put five... Um, of these limited units or if you don't have limited these normal units in here at level 99 is because at level 99 assuming you don't have 400 mind spheres i i don't for all of these um except for 2b and i'll talk about her in a second uh assuming you put four or five level 99 units in here that you don't have 100 400 mind spheres for you get to farm two mind spheres a day from this at the same time you also get two soul medals a day from each of these. So that equals to 10 mind spheres that you get for, you know, a total of five characters, you're getting two each. In total, 10 shards, 10 shards slash mind spheres, and 10 soul medals at the same time. And that's a day. So over a month, you're getting 300 mind spheres, uh, sorry, you're getting 300 soul medals uh, from this in a, in a day, in, in a month, right? Um, now, why I'm using 2B is because 2B and 9S share the same, uh, you know, mind sphere. So I actually end up getting four mind spheres a day for uh, 9S. And you can, like, if you have, uh, um, you know, if, if you pull, like, say, Cloud and Tifa and you have both of them on 99, you can do the same thing and farm uh, one of these units, uh, mind spheres, like, for a day and leave the other one on 99. You can do all kinds of things. Uh, but anyway, I mean, the general point is to leave five units in here that are level 99. And again, this might not work for everybody. And I've already given you an example. I have Sissel at level 89 in here, right? And it's what it is, right? So uh, you decide what you want to do. Like it, maybe it's not important for you to farm those uh, mines, those soul models. Maybe it's more important for you to get more units to level 99. And if that's the case, fine you know uh it is what it is uh i'm just telling you what i'm doing and then so the next thing that i do after that is the hard quests so i have some units that i would really like to get to level 99 uh luella is one of them because i feel like her um tmr is something that i would like to unlock um because i i would like to run an evasion team at some point and i feel like this tmr is good for that but I feel personally that getting these limited units is more important to me than getting this this or other units level 99. 
and again, like it all depends on each individual person. I have so many units at level 99 already. I have quite a few at level 120 as well. So it depends where you are in the game, right? If you want to follow this advice or not. But what I do is I find um, five units that are level 99 that I don't have 400 mind spheres for. So for example, um, well, not limited units, normal units. So uh, for example, say Sakura, uh, I don't have 400 of her mind spheres. So I do her hard quest. So I'm farming her mind sphere so that when she when she does uh, come out, uh, well, I'll read the request. So when she does come out, I can um, farm her. Sorry, when her EX is released and I'm really interested in her, I already have her 400 mind spheres set, right? Uh, but at the same time, I'm also getting two um, uh, two soul medals a day for each of these five units that I do. So for example, Victor is another one. So if I do her uh, hard quest. I end up getting, um, you can see here, two of her uh, mind spheres, but at the same time, I also get two soul medals, right? So if I do this uh, every day for for a month, I get ten, um, I get ten soul medals a day uh, for thirty days. So an additional three hundred soul medals here. So from the guild barracks that I told you about and the hard quests, I can get six hundred of these soul medals a month. And 600 soul medals is enough, actually 550 soul medals is enough to get 100 mind spheres, right? Uh, so that's the first 100. Um, now I'm assuming actually that I'll probably be able to get more than just 600 from this because, uh, you know, if I'm spending 40,000 Vizior on Cloud's banner to pull him, I'm assuming that I'll probably pull like a couple of other URs and where I am in the game I most of these URs are maxed out so I'll probably get mind spheres for them and maybe that's the case for you maybe it's not uh, you know if, if it's not then that sucks I guess right but uh, for me this is this works for me so I, I, I think I'll probably be able to get at least like you know quite a few mind spheres I'm assuming I can probably get like 200 mind spheres for cloud i mean i already have 600 anyway so if i do this for the next 30 days i'll definitely have um enough to get 200 mind spheres so i'll probably i'm aiming to get 250 from this uh from pulling random rewires and getting an additional 450 mind spheres and uh maybe i hope i don't know we'll see how lucky i am i guess right uh but yeah, but that's that. That's what it is. Uh, you uh, you will at least have six hundred, right? You should at least have six hundred, if you follow my advice and do this, uh, which is a uh, hundred mind sphere shards that you don't have to spend with your four when when cloud hits. Um, uh, and then uh, the other piece of advice uh, is you have to decide really if you want to get that unit to one twenty right away or not. I've been using an INS for example at one fifteen really well. Uh, and I'm still being able to farm his shards. Uh, you know, uh, I'm only like 55 away from getting him to 120 uh, because I've stuck him in the guild barracks uh, along with 2B to farm these shards. Uh, and you know, that might be a plan for you too, or a, a plan for you might be to get them to uh, 120 within their banner. Or you might also want to get this unit to 120 within the first week. You might not want to spend the five, uh, sorry, 60 Vizier per day for the entire duration because maybe you're like, oh, I want to get this unit to 120 because I want to use them in arena and guild, guild wars, uh, guild battle, like right away. If that's your goal, you know, go for it. Um, I'm just telling you what I plan to do and how, uh, you know, stretching this out for a while, how you can kind of save uh vizior and you don't have to rush and you don't need like you know like 150,000 vizior or something you you can get it for a lot cheaper if you do this um like you know for 40,000 vizior i i plan to pull cloud i'll probably be able to get him to uh you know 99 as i as i said from f for like something like an additional 2000 vizior so 42,000 vizior to get him to 99 and then i probably will be able to get 200 of his mind spheres so i can at least i only need 50 more mind spheres uh is it 50 no i only need um 80 more mind spheres to get into 115 and that's not too bad right to to get that's i mean if i really have to that's an additional like 4000 vizior so for what is it 40000 plus 2 plus 6 of so 46000 vizior i can probably get cloud to 115 
And that's assuming that I have to pity this guy. If I don't have to pity this guy, the cost is going to be a lot lower. If I get him in like the first 10 pull or something, the cost is going to be like astronomically lower, obviously, right? But I'm only spending like, say, 6,000 in shards for this guy. But again, I'm assuming that you're in a position where you can spend a dollar a day and you can buy that like nine, 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 uh, sorry, $10 pack uh, to get the 2,550, uh, sorry, 2,450 paid visitor to be able to buy the cloud shards a day. So this is what's working for me. Um, and, you know, maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. Maybe you, you are the kind of person that's like, oh, you know what, it's more important for me to get more of my units to level 99 than to farm uh, mind spheres. And if that is, then, you know, everyone plays the game differently. You don't have to play it like me. Uh, I'm just telling you what I, I'm doing. Uh, maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. And that's totally fair. Um, but yeah, I hope this advice helps some of you guys. Um, uh, if something that I'm talking about is unclear or if you disagree with something that I'm saying, you know, please leave it, leave it in the comments. I'll do my best to respond. I've actually been quite busy with like real life stuff, so I haven't been as responsive to comments as I would like to be, but I, I, I'll try, <laughs> right? Um, as you can see, like sometimes I don't post videos for like a week and then, and then I post like three or four videos in like the next two days because, uh, I've, I've, I have like some time, like I have like two days of rest now I can like do something. Um, it is getting like pretty busy and hectic in real life. So I'm trying to manage things at, at the same time and it's, you know, being a bit hectic, but I, I, I'm trying my best. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to respond. Uh, and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Anyway, take care, guys. Uh, I hope you have a good one.